Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm really trying to get my head more around the potential of the RoboTaxi's business model. Is it simply a better version of Uber and traditional taxis? Or is it going to replace ownership too? And I look forward to what all of you will say in the comments. I'm not here to tell you how things will be. I like to give my opinion on how I see things. And then I also like to read what you think and use your feedback to evolve my own opinion. It would be arrogant to think that I know better than 10,000 or so other avid Tesla enthusiasts. Call me fickle if you like, but we're trying to predict the future as close as possible here. I think it's important to have an open mind, especially with a company as revolutionary as Tesla. I appreciate how all of you seem to be respectful of my ideas and give intelligent, constructive feedback. Therefore, I'd like to go through with you my thought process on whether Tesla will stop selling the EVs to the public and simply keep them for themselves as robotaxis. A Model 3 robotaxi would cost about $1 a mile to use, according to Autonomy Day. If you drive just 10,000 miles a year, which is only about 200 miles a week, then that would cost you $10,000 a year in robotaxi fees. Well, if it costs more to use a robotaxi than it does to own your car, then why would you? Especially if your car has FSD, then you have all the benefits anyway. However, using your own car, you're not utilizing it to its full potential. You may only be using it for 10 hours a week, when it could be out taxiing, being used for five times that much utilization. Therefore, although your car may have cost $40,000, the fact you keep it to yourself is an opportunity cost of perhaps another $20,000 a year. But then again, the cost of using robotaxis is probably around $10,000 a year too, which creates a bit of a dilemma in ownership. Is it most sensible to have your own car drive you where you want and then let it out in the robotaxi fleet when you're not using it? If it only costs $50,000, including FSD, then it would pay itself off in just two or three years of taxiing. Say for example, in 2025, Tesla are capable of making 10 million cars a year. If the average cost of production was $25,000, then if Tesla wanted to own all of those cars, then that would cost them $250 billion. And that number would be growing each year as they increase production. They would have to raise that money. They wouldn't have close to enough for themselves. And maybe they could raise a large amount of it, at least for 2025. But if Tesla were to own their own taxis, then it would be more likely they buy them in stages. One year, they buy 10% of their production, the following year, 20%, and then 30%, and so on. As Tesla's robotaxi fleet increases in the market, they earn more income to pay for more taxis. Okay, if that's the case, then maybe it is possible Tesla can afford them. And to begin with, they will keep selling some of their cars to the public in order to subsidize their own taxi fleet. Despite it being an extraordinary amount of money, it is possible they can achieve it. What if by 2030, Tesla have enough of their fleet that there are 20 million robotaxis in the US alone? If they each earn $30,000 a year, then that's $600 billion a year. But 20 million robotaxis, is there really that big a demand? There are only 1 million Uber drivers in America, and not all of them are full-time, and they certainly don't spend as much time Ubering as a robotaxi could driving passengers. In addition to that, there are around another 200,000 taxi drivers or so. Either way, these numbers are tiny compared to 20 million robotaxis. If there were to be 20 million robotaxis, then that would be a lot of supply. Would there be enough demand? Even if they cost less than half the price of an Uber? It would be tough getting the price of a robotaxi under 80 cents a mile, unless of course Tesla decided that $30,000 a year was too much profit, and perhaps $15,000 was still sufficient, as they don't have to share the profit with their owners, due to Tesla owning the fleet. If that was the case, then they can still produce robotaxis for maybe under $20,000 for a Model 2 that can earn $15,000 a year, which is a great return. In turn, they could drop the price to perhaps, I would guess, at the lowest, 40 cents a mile. Now, if someone only drives 5,000 miles a year, and it's now 40 cents a mile, then perhaps there really is a possibility enough people would substitute a car for a robotaxi. 5,000 miles a year at 40 cents a mile is a total cost of $2,000. If you buy a brand new car, you're going to be losing more than that on depreciation each year. Even if you buy a $15,000 used car from a dealer, then you lose more than that on depreciation every year. Not to mention fuel, perhaps at 25 MPG with 5,000 miles a year at $3 a gallon, then you're spending over another $500 a year, plus servicing, tires, maintenance, parking, etc. 
probably easily another $500 to $1,000. Of course, insurance is likely another $1,000 too. I've created a table that would estimate the cost of owning a car for a year with some set costs, along with variables of different car prices, with various amounts of miles driven each year. The table then calculates the price for each car price depending on how many miles are driven. I've then created a similar table below showing the cost of using a robotaxi for those same miles, with different prices of robotaxis. You can download the table from the link in the description below. Feel free to adjust the figures yourself. If Tesla were able to get their prices down to 40 cents a mile and people used carpooling with taxis, then you'd be looking at a passenger cost of 10 cents a mile. It wouldn't matter how cheap a car you bought or how many miles you traveled, this is going to be cheaper than owning a car no matter what. If Tesla were able to get their price per mile down to 40 cents and you didn't carpool, then even if you're driving under about 8,000 miles a year, robotaxis are still going to be cheaper. You see, there are the fixed costs associated with owning a car, like servicing and insurance. Of course, the more you drive, the less these costs are per mile. But most of us can afford to spend more than a couple of thousand dollars on a car. So even at $15,000 for a car, you would need to justify doing over 15,000 miles a year until it's cheaper to own your own car. And remember, a $15,000 car, you have to drive yourself, and it may not even be as nice as a robotaxi. On the other side, if Tesla are going to be charging 80 cents a mile, then if you're driving more than 5,000 miles a year, then it's cheaper for you to own a $15,000 car. Again though, it won't drive itself, obviously. Remember, the fact the robotaxi does drive itself means if you actually wanted to purchase a car with FSD, then you're automatically looking at an extra $10,000 just for FSD, or possibly more like twenty dollars or $30,000 by this stage, as we are obviously at level 5 autonomy. Therefore, the robotaxi does add that extra value to the service by self-driving. If Tesla simply raised their prices so much that very few could afford a Tesla due to the fact that they are simply so valuable to Tesla as a robotaxi and forces everyone to use robotaxis, if each robotaxi brings in $15,000 gross profit a year to Tesla, then why would they want to sell them to the public for forty dollars to $50,000? But what about the other robotaxi owners? If the cost per mile was only $0.40 cents now, how would they be able to make any money, plus give Tesla a cut? It wouldn't be good for Tesla's brand if they suddenly disallowed private ownership into the robotaxi network. Perhaps Tesla would have to buy them out of the fleet. If Tesla are no longer selling their cars to the public, or they are deciding to charge over $100,000 for just a Model 3, or whatever it is, then this simply means there is room for the competition. But the competition will need to catch up to Level 5 autonomy. Elon says FSD will eventually be a commodity, and makes it sound like it's not that important, and not that big a deal. But will it really? There's a possibility the likes of Mobile Eye will reach Level 4 autonomy, but Level 5 autonomy is a massive step from there, not to mention the data they need to collect. I can't see any major robotaxi competitors, but maybe people do still want their own car and are prepared to buy an electric Volkswagen or even a Neo simply because it's affordable, even though they don't entirely drive themselves. But how would Tesla manage all these robotaxis? Well, charging won't be an issue. There are various ways they can charge autonomously, but keeping them clean and maintained may be another issue. There could be car grooming companies that specialize in maintaining robotaxis, or Tesla simply sets them up themselves. But would it hurt the brand if Tesla suddenly stopped selling to consumers? These are possessions that people absolutely love owning. I guess at that stage, Tesla may not care anymore. What would be a valuation of the robotaxi business then, if this came into fruition? Say with just 20 million taxis doing 10,000 gross profit a year, just in the US market alone, well, we're back to our crazy insane numbers again, aren't we? Probably tens of trillions of dollars, I suppose. And there's the rest of the world too, not just other developed countries, but if we get the price of pooling down to just 10 cents a mile, then it's feasible transport for every country, which makes the valuation absolutely insane. I first started this to try and debunk the fact that Tesla would not stop selling cars to the public, and that the market for robotaxis is not as big as some people make out. But when you put them together, i.e. Tesla stops selling robotaxis, and the market is as big as people make out, because if Tesla owned their own taxis themselves, then they can cut the robotaxi costs significantly. Then maybe it is as lucrative as some people think. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.